Hi, I'm Shane Smith with Sea Hero. I want to talk today about the Rescue Davit. What it is, what it does, uh, the pieces, and assembly of the Davit boom, etc. So the Rescue Davit is a portable lifting device for man overboard rescue. It's designed to fit on the side of your boat or barge on the bits. So the very first thing that you need to go through with the crew or whomever else is which bit will be used for the rescue. Doesn't really matter which bit, it just just needs we just need to know. Because you want to have the top strap at the highest place on the bit. So most of the tugs, most of the time, this is going to be set and ready to go. But in the event that you need to move it down, we're going to go through how to do that. So the unit, when it comes, um, this bat goes against the bit on the outboard side of the, of the bit. So it's against the bit. So these feet are stabilizers that touch the boat and you want to make sure they have good contact. You don't have to touch those at all. These feet right here, these feet, they are, they have the ability to move in. So you have flexibility if you had a smaller bit. You can, you can see there's different holes. So you move it in, or if it's really small, you can turn it around. Okay, you can, you have that flexibility. There is an upper and a lower spot. So you don't want this thing to weeble wobble. So in other words, if you're, it's set right now for the upper, and if you're going to move the strap, if, you would move it to the lower. That's a 532nd Allen, unscrew it, move it down. If you need to move that thing, you would move this clamp. There's the lower and there's the upper. 532nd, four screws, you take that out and you move it down to the lower spot if you're going to move it. On the other side, the dead end side of the strap. If you're going to move this to the lower spot, you're going to use a 5 16 Allen and a half inch box wrench inside here. Take it off and put it back down. Now the pro tip on that, when you go to put it in, your hand won't really fit inside here very well. So put a piece of duct tape over the box wrench, put the nut into it, put it down in the channel, and thread the bolt to it. When you're tightening this strap, you want to have this square. You can see how this is coming off square. You want to have that square. So now what you've done is you've established that you've your strap is at your upper place, whether it's down low or up high. That's set. Your latch clamp set. Your lower stays the same. So your lower strap, it stays the same. You don't have to move that. It comes with a hook. The best, lay, best practice is to keep it inside the channel, okay, like this. That way it stays out of your way. Now, you can see this piece of velcro that's onto the channel. This piece of velcro is here so that you can you can velcro this out of your way. Just like that. All right? um, what I want to show you guys next is this top strap comes like this. So you'll need to put this into the latch clamp you're going to need to put this into the latch clamp from the back side, okay, and then back into it, just like a belt. Leave it loose, that's done, okay? And when you go to put this on, you're going to have these open, okay? That's closed back here, that's open. Same thing here, all right? Now, what I want to show you guys is the tension line. The tension line comes all connected. We're going to connect it in just a, just a couple of minutes here. But it stays connected here. If you need to, to take up slack on this tension line to, you know, ultimately you want to have a 45 degree angle on your davit, but you want the lift line to clear the tires. All you're going to do is lift this up a little bit 
and you're going to wrap this around these buttons to take up slack. That's really all you're doing. Okay? And it's like put like a spring line on a barge. You put the eye on the bit and you're just taking up slack so it's all fetched up. So that's that. And once, once the, the unit is attached, um, the davit will be connected here. The tension line will go out. They can't, this can't move unless you rotate it with the handle. That's a worm drive and it keeps it all together. So that's how that goes there. But what I want to show you is how we connect this together. So the best thing to do is to find a comfy spot, could be in the galley, roll this out to the middle, so it's in the middle, right, right in the middle. And all we're going to do is we're going to just take this davit. It comes with, this comes with your package, okay? There is definitely an upper and a lower part to this. So this will go onto the lower spindle. This is the top. That's where the tension line is going to go. And then there's the shiv. So we want the top facing a unit or facing up. This just literally fits in here like this. Okay? And then we pin it. We literally are pinning this like this. Okay? Gonna put our nut on here. Okay, so that's all secured. What we've got next is we've got the tension line. So the tension line comes with a pin and a cotter pin. These two right here. This line kind of open the eye a little bit, put it into the hole, okay, and then all we're going to do is come in here and pin it. And the cotter pin goes in, and then you can spread the cotter pin. That's connected, that's done, okay? And all that we're doing is all in the manual that this comes with. So I'm going to use a little stand here in the shop. It's a lot easier to use. The next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys that this does come with 45 feet of lift line with a hook and stopper ball. Right now, I'm going to use a dirty shop line. You're going to take your line, the bitter end, and you're going to come from underneath. Underneath. This is the lift side. You're going to come in here like this, and we're going to lift it. We're going to put it in. We're going to come back here to the rope clutch. The rope clutch, this is open, that means the line will come and go. When it's closed down, it's a, it's a break. It will not allow the line to back out. It's a secondary break. So you're going to feed this line in here like this. Okay. Like this. Okay. When it comes out, we're going to go around the winch. And you're going to do it clockwise. Four wraps, okay? When you're done with your fourth wrap, you're going to go over this tailing arm here and into your jaws. And leave about a foot afterwards, all your working line out. When you're ready to go, close that down. These jaws act as a break as well. They can't, they hold the line along with this secondary. The self-tailing arm allows this line to spool right back, right here. You don't have to tend it at all. When we go to adjust this, this line, okay, all we're going to do is we're going to lift it up and we're going to wrap it. That's all we're going to do, okay, until we get what the desired height is. That's it. The next thing is a handle. That's all that's left is a handle. It's got a thumb lock. Thumb lock goes in. We recommend you keep it together. All you would do before you fold this up, make sure your line is out, coiled up, fold the davit up, 
and there's a davit gate right here with a pin and you would pin it just like that and essentially you're ready to go so what we're going to do next is put it on the bit hey guys welcome back we're going to go ahead and put this on right here on the shop bit and all you're going to do is just grab what you've got already adjusted we're going to put this on you want to have your tether line so it keeps everything to the good and you can see everything's fitting on here real nice and solid the top strap goes over it's at the upper part point you're going to close your latch okay you take your line you've already got it all ready to go set that down the bottom strap comes out off of the velcro into the clamp pull it tight Okay, we're on. Now we're going to deploy it. We're going to hold on to this red line and we're out. If we wanted to adjust that line, we're going to lift it up and we're going to take another wrap if we wanted to. Okay, that's really all it is. The line goes out, attach it to your rescue pole. We're going to heave it in. When the stopper ball comes up, you're done. Bring in a board, okay, and if you need more height, you can crank it up one more time. When you want to pay out line when the person is aboard, let the rope clutch go out first. Open that. Then take your line off the bit, okay, and let it slack out, all right? When you go to take this off the bit, this is going to be up in the stowed position, okay? Like so, we're going to pin it again, alright, we're going to go ahead and open this. When we open it, we're going to take the bottom off first. Open this, off, okay, because this thing's still nice and solid, into here, velcro, open this, off we go, thanks guys.